Hello, this is Jeff of Tell Flare Mouse. We've been asked so many times to make shotgun slugs or bullets or whatever you want to call them out of JB Weld. Yes, the cold well with over 10,000 uses. And according to testimonials on the back of the old packages, it's better than baling wire. We'll be using the steel stick. It's basically two part epoxy that you just knead together to mix. And it's supposed to have like steel powder in it to make it really strong. And we'll be using this silicone mold that Peter Brown himself made for us a while back. I'll just put a little bit in there at a time, tamp it down so that it fills all the voids. That's basically it. Now the old school stuff took like four hours just to set and 24 hours just to cure. This stuff sets in five minutes and cures in one hour. And trust me, I've lost track how many things I've fixed with this stuff. It's, it's amazing stuff. It's very handy. And Sartal from Israel suggested I use the clear JB Weld too. So we made one slug out of that. It was just a lot harder to get out of the mold for some reason. So I really wanted to see the clear JB Weld slug and I thought that does look cool. So we dipped into our Patreon funds and bought that too. All right, welcome back to Alflator folks. Today we got uh, due to popular request is the JB Weld slug. A lot of you have asked for that. And Jeff put some together for us today. We've got some with just the JB Weld. And knowing you all are going to ask, why didn't you put some birdshot in it? Well, Jeff did that. So we're going to see what they do downrange. Uh, just give you a little view. We've got straight JB Weld. And JB Weld with some birdshot. Probably what, seven and a half birdshot? Something like that, yeah. Something like that? Yep. Plano bird shot. All right. And uh, stay tuned because we're going to try out these. These are extreme slugs. These are a copper plated rifled slug. Two and three quarter inch, uh, one ounce, 1500 feet per second. But we got to find some appropriate targets for these. So stay tuned. These will be coming up. Yeah, hang in there, Alec. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't forgotten about you. No. First, it's just one of the just the solid JB Weld slugs. We're at about 10 yards. Danny is using his Mossberg 500 with a rifled barrel. Yes, they make rifled barrels for shotguns. In case you didn't know that. Turns it into a rifle, not a shotgun. <laughs> That's what everybody tells me. Yep. Okay, let's see if these things are accurate and what it'll do to. Mickey the melon. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Alright, here we go. Very nice. Now it's one thing just to throw some JB Weld in a shotgun shell, shoot it, and maybe you'll hit something, right? It's a totally different thing to have one that has good ballistics, it's accurate, and uh, actually flies straight through the air like a like a real slug is supposed to so this one definitely was accurate had good stability and things are looking very promising it didn't just shatter when we shot too okay perfect home defense round we'll have four layers of uh, particle board it's 3 8 particle board okay well that stop it Twelve, twelve. This is kind of like a drywall test because people think drywall will stop slugs and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, it went right through all four sheets of the particle board. Did not hit the bear, unfortunately, but he was blasted pretty hard with sawdust. A little bit high. Those slugs are a little bit light. But regardless, nice clean hole here. Got a fat hole, large hole, larger hole, and then, oh, lock number four came out. There's a little piece of JB weld there. But it was still um, pretty yeah. intact when it went through that last board. That's unusual there. We had 1,212 feet per second. And no damage. The bear's okay. Knocked him off the table, but. <laughs> Got blasted with sawdust. Didn't knock the stuffing out of him. 
Three JB weld against a brick. Okay, let's see what it does. All brick right. made out of concrete. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Oh my goodness. It's broken in half. Okay, wow. make your guesses. Is the JB weld stronger than concrete or cement or whatever you want to call it? Here it comes. Boom. Yeah, I just sh completely shattered the JB weld. But it did have enough energy to crack the brick right in half. All right, that was pretty accurate there. That one, my point of aim was right here and hit just slightly high left. But yeah, that uh, concrete. Looks like it completely brick. shattered the slug though. Yeah, I don't find any parts of the slug laying around here at all. Yeah. Yes, we do. Oh, got a little. Got a little couple little chunks. Okay. You're kind of frangible then, huh? Quite interesting. Yeah, hit somebody in the head, you might break your slug. Oh, ho, ho, ho. old police vest that's very small, almost child size. Hey, look in there, we got an invader! Hey! Oh, <laughs> shoot the invader, the home invader. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. The perfect home defense round it may possibly be. It's homemade, it's non-lead, hey, <laughs> and packs a pretty good punch. Let's see if we can get a little sunlight in there. It uh, bolts the back, it did stop it. It would have hurt. Yeah. But there's our... Oh, I thought it would stay in one piece. JB Wilt slug. Oh. He caught the. Just broke it into pieces, though. Okay, world's famous lead plate. This is Still. a 25 pounder. <laughs> Not that it matters. Yeah. A little bit high. Left a little dent. Now this one hit a little bit high, and that's pretty normal for these very, very lightweight slugs like these. This thing only weighs less than a third of the weight of a traditional foster slug. And the cavity left is, is substantial. It's about the same as what a nine millimeter would leave. Okay, now we're gonna shoot one with a little bit of lead shot in it, see if there's any difference, or what difference it'll make. JB bird shot. Yep. I am ready. Now this slug with the lead shot in it actually flew pretty well. It was, looked pretty balanced. And I wasn't really sure if I had packed that lead shot in there evenly and if it was, you know, unbalanced or not. But it worked out well. Definitely a deeper cavity though. Yeah, bigger, That's deeper. probably 10 to 11 millimeters deep there. Millimeters, what the hell Mi is that? Oh yeah, <laughs> forgot where I was. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, uh, Three-eighths of an inch. Let's see how it does out of a smooth bore with this Little Tony brake action. My Little Tony. JB Well with bird shot. It's the hard drive. Still trying to erase all Hillary's hard drive. <laughs> Woo! JB Well, ladies and gentlemen. The JB Weld Slug, without any spin stabilization, still flew very well, and it was very accurate. It had no problem at all driving through that computer hard drive. A slug that can be shot through either a rifled barrel or through a smoothbore just as well is called a universal slug. Yeah, we're just a little to the right. Because yeah. of wind. The wind's yeah, blowing right, that right, way. Right, 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 yeah. That's my story. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not bad through a smoothbore. Uh, short barrel. 10 yards. Man, look at all the layers of stuff in there. It's tough. These things are tough. I wouldn't stand behind a hard drive. Nope. Yeah, you got 
stainless steel, you got aluminum, you got aluminum platters and cast aluminum. You go cut yourself on that, it's sharp as heck. Not bad for JB Weld. Okay, still using Little Tony and the JB Birdshot. JB Birdshot, yeah. We're now at 20 yards, which isn't terribly far, but if you have an inaccurate slug, you're never going to hit that, believe it or not. <laughs> inaccurate slug and uh, crazy sights. Yeah, yeah. There's no sight, real, you know, you just got a bead sight on that thing. Okay, let's see if you can hit that thing. We're probably a little optimistic here. Yeah, no guarantees. Yep. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, geez, no problem. The JB Weld is accurate at least to 20 yards, probably further. And you can see it was still traveling supersonic, as you can see by the dust being kicked up on the ground by the shock wave. Now, I had my doubts you'd hit it. I did too, really. <laughs> Very unusual uh, slug at JB Weld. There's a point of impact. And you were aiming at the label? I was aiming pretty much at the label. You're still dead center. Dead and center, it, windage is good. But really, no exit hole. It split the jug. But yeah, you can see little pock marks, like maybe the shot, you know what I mean? There's little shot few, exit marks, yeah. It probably shattered. You're right. There's little puck marks everywhere here. These aren't bad. These aren't bad at all. If, if you wanted to cast your own slugs and you don't want to mess with le melting lead and everything. Okay, now we're going to do the clear JB Weld one. It's kind of fancy and this is a high power one and it should be going close to 1700 feet per second if not further faster. It's a little bit of lead in the nose. And the rest is the JB Weld Diablo shape. We'll see if it'll even hold up to the shot. It could shatter the JB Weld, as far as we know. Just all that mass on the front, you know, kinetic energy. Let's see how it does. You want to use Little Tony? Yeah, let's shoot Little Tony. He's doing pretty good today. We're going to shoot at our beautiful gel blocks down there. <laughs> Ballistic Tootsie Roll. Yeah, the clear JB Weld. He hit it. He should strap those down. So even the clear JB Weld worked very well. I made a total of nine JB Weld slugs. Every single one functioned. I showed you every single shot. I'm impressed. I would, who, who would have thought JB Weld would be such a good projectile? Well, apparently a lot of people who suggest it to us I guess <laughs> but it it's these suggestions that you guys throw at us and I do read all your comments and everything and some of our best ideas come from you guys and I really thank you for that and now it's time for the bonus round yay this was sent to us by Matt thank you Matt Okay, bonus round time. Okay, ammo zone, the 1260, I don't know what that's, FPS, who knows. Rhodesian jungle red. So we got buckshot and little BBs in there. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, here it comes. It's kind of a mess, but you can see the BBs and you can see the buckshot. And I think we hit the table again. Dang it. That table's on its last leg. But at least it's still standing. We'll be shooting more of these oddball miscellaneous rounds that Matt sent us. Thank you again, Matt. And of course, this video would not have been possible without our generous viewers who support us on Patreon. Thank you very much.